Did you know that from 1993 till date, our public universities have lost over five academic years cumulatively to the strike actions by the Academic Staff Union of Universities? And due to the recurrent instability in the system and other factors, it is estimated that Nigerians now spend about 1 trillion naira annually on foreign university education. Currently, that is about one-tenth of the federal government's annual budget and over a third of its annual capital expenditure. Are you aware that according to Time Higher Education World University Ranking 2019, only two Nigerian universities are listed in the top 800 universities in the world and none made it to the top five in Africa? Yes, I know the ranking doesn't tell the whole story but it does tell some story. One of the worst tragedies of our time is sending students to school without getting them educated. Though a lot has been said and written about this decadence in our system, the Center for Higher Education, Innovation and Development, as part of its mission to contribute in shaping Nigeria's higher education policy direction and the national innovation ecosystem, is embarking on an ambitious documentary film series to capture and understand the big issues in Nigeria's higher education system and tell it to a wider audience. Nigeria in the 80s had um, a program or university system that was envied around the world. I was nurtured by the Nigerian Academy and I was always very proud to say that I went to the University of Ife, wherever I went to. Um, but now, things are not quite the same. Most Nigerian universities are like 30 years behind, or in some cases even 50 years behind the rest of the world. When you look at curricula, for example, when you look at the uh, methods of teaching, um, and you look at the facilities that are available, it is shocking that in some big name universities in this country, people are still doing what good successful universities were doing 50 years ago and they've long abandoned it. So it's time for reform. We need to relook the entire system, figure out how we place ourselves to become competitive on a global scale. Hello. My name is Odina Kailo. I strongly believe that part of the critical things we must do urgently to unlock Nigeria's great potential is to rethink our higher education system and get it functional and globally competitive. I and the entire 11 member team working on this project are so excited about the huge impact this documentary film series will have on our higher education system and on the future of teaming young Nigerians desiring quality education in Nigeria. As a documentary filmmaker, I am passionate about using films to address societal issues. The current situation of Nigeria education system is worrisome. Through this documentary, we are seeking to interrogate the status quo, proffer creative solutions and catalyze positive actions. One of the primary objectives of this documentary film series is to clearly capture and portray the convergences, contrast, and weaknesses in the operations of our higher education system compared to the way globally competitive institutions are run elsewhere. We have made tremendous progress over the last 12 months, especially in the areas of research, planning, and key stakeholder interviews. So far, we have interviewed a number of important key stakeholders including the Executive Secretary of National Universities Commission, the Director Generals of the National Office for Technology Acquisition and Promotion, National Teachers Institute, and the former President of African University of Science and Technology, and the former Minister of Science and Technology and Power. However, we still have a lot of work to do within and outside Nigeria. Over the next few months, we will be required to take a trip to the five best-ranked universities in Africa across three countries, South Africa, Egypt, and Uganda, to understand how those institutions have remained the best performing in Africa over the last few years. Currently, this project is running on a budget of $69,500. At this point, we'll still need $61,000 
to continue the filming, to embark on these international trips we mentioned and the local trips, and to continue the production and post-production works. We have got to that critical point where we need your financial support. Remember, we all have a stake in this. The cost of this film seems expensive, but if you consider its likely turnkey effect on the system, then you will appreciate that the cost is nothing compared to its value. So, if you are as troubled as many people are about the unfortunate situation of Nigeria's education, please, I urge you to support this project and together we can rethink our higher education system.